I was working at Fair Oaks Hospital as a drug and alcohol counselor, a suicide intervention specialist. And the head of the department uh, was Dr. Mark Gold, who was a medical doctor. And at that particular point, I just finished my master's, and I always wanted to finish a doctorate. And he was like, um, you know, what are you planning to do? And I'm like, well, I've got to go do my doctorate in psychology. And he told me, listen, if you've been looking at anything from our uh, clinical practice here at Fair Oaks, what is it that you see with most of these people? You know, most of them are deficient in vitamin B1, B3. So he kind of put me on the path to start looking at nutrients and psychology and behavior and how they interact and actually pretty much what started my whole process, you know, to go down that road. So clearly at that particular point I decided to go into the yeah. clinical nutritional field and, yeah. and did another master's in nutrition and then a doctorate, you know, so. Um, but yeah, I, I, you know, in, in, in the other side of that is I didn't find all the answers with all my clients or patients uh, in just psychotherapy, you know, sometimes it's, it's something lacking, sometimes it's not about physical abuse or mental abuse, sometimes, you know, the, these behavioral things are 100% associated to lacking a, a vitamin, something as simple as a vitamin B6 that converts, you know, a, 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 a serotonin to, uh, I mean, a tryptophan to a serotonin molecule or dopamine, uh, you know, coming from tyrosine, you know, the, the vitamins and minerals play a massive role in these neurotransmitters as they progress through the pathways that we develop them. You know, as a nutritionist, when you're looking at obtaining a supplement company to support, I think there's a couple of things that I can say after 20 years of clinical experience that you want to have. You want to have a product line that's not being sold to the general public, that you're competing with everywhere on Amazon and Google and anywhere that you want to go. Uh, that's very important to me. Um, because as a nutritionist you're actually allowed to also run a business and make a profit, um, number one. Number two, um, I feel it's important to have high quality, uh, well-researched products that you know is going to have the result in the application that you set forth. Part of the reason that we have been given the names of quacks and you know the crazy ones out there as nutritionists and alternative practitioners is because supplements have been touted as this phenomenal thing and people take bad quality supplements that don't contain the constituents that they are promised and they're not going to perform. As a matter of fact, they might do the opposite. So when you're dealing with a nutraceutical company that does it at the level that Designs for Health does it, you're getting a product that is of pharmaceutical grade it has the material that you want in there. So as a clinician, your only job now is to determine exactly what dose you need to give to that patient, which I think is a very unique and individual thing. You know, I know there's standard dosing on things, but one thing as a clinician, I feel that you really need to get your dosing down. Because sometimes I do more, much more dosing than what's on the recommendation because of the requirement of the patient. But those are the criteria that, that I always look for, you know, as a clinician. And many times, you know, when I hear that a client comes into my office telling me, well, I can buy that online for $20 cheaper or whatever, it's extremely frustrating, you know, as a clinician, because we're not interested for you to go chase prices, but that's the reality of the world, you know, and I think it's very important for, for the practitioners to tell their clients and educate their clients why it's important to buy a product like Designs for Health, um, because of the research behind it, you know, and I think once you educate your clients, they stop uh, looking at yeah. the deal, yeah. you know, the best deal, because what's your health worth, right? Is it worth 10% savings on a vitamin C that has absolutely zero uh, connection to, you know, elevating your health um, versus the other way? So designs for health products that stand out to me um, for a couple of reasons is liposomal products. Um, for the reason that there's a lot of people with intestinal uh, gastric issues, so hypochloridria, uh, small intestinal bowel absorptive issues, duodenal issues, you know, villi atrophy, so they're not getting those nutrients into the cell, and the digestive tract is compromised because some people have had bariatric surgery, you know, or gastric sleeve surgery. So the digestive processes are very important to bring those supplements and break them down with the liposomals. Uh, because those absorptive uh, aspects do not happen and the breakdown of that doesn't happen in the, in, the, in the gastric mucosa, they happen further down, it's easier to assimilate them. You know, also the fact that you can swirl them around in your mouth and get it simulated a little bit quicker in the opposite directions, you know, that's why I'm a big, big, big believer in them because clinically I see a tremendous amount of people with uh, malabsorptive issues due to hypochloridia or low stomach acid. Uh, or don't have a stomach or a very compromised stomach. So I'm a, I, I love the liposomal products. So the glutathione, liposomal glutathione, the liposomal vitamin C, um, I love it. And then obviously the eval technology to deliver the 
um, you know, the nutrients to the cells a little bit better through the proper medium chain triglycerides that they use in their formulations um, are very helpful as well. But I must say from clinical experience, uh, the more liposomal products I can use as a clinician, uh, that's where I see quicker results than anything I've ever used.